was a typical day, back when I was in college. Nothing out of the ordinary. The usual stuff. After school, the guys and I would usually do our band rehearsals. Then after we get tired, we go to our local watering hole. Spend a couple of hours hanging out, drinking, and playing pool. The guys were joking about the route I would have to take to get home. And at the time, the railway station was under repair cutting my usual route to my house. Luckily, there was a shortcut, but there was one catch. The way home would take me to an infamous hunted street called Baletta Drive. Everyone knows the history of that cursed street, but the story is going to be on a later episode. Back to the pool house. They were making fun and joking me around because of that route. At the time, I just dismissed all their jokes. Then suddenly, one of my bud, Mark, dared me to take on the route instead of going around. I had my bottle of courage, so at the time I was feeling invincible, which later on I would deeply regret. It was getting late, the bottles were empty, and everyone was getting tired. It was time to get home. Everyone said their goodbyes, and one last reminder from Mark on the deal we made. Gave him a smirk and a thumbs up. Took a bus and not one minute fell asleep. I woke up on my stop, recovering from my bus. It was around 11 p.m. The air was chilly and thick. No lights around because of the construction. I had to walk my way home. I was going around when I remembered the deal, so I did what I shouldn't have done. I went straight to the shortcut. I was thinking to myself, this is the fastest route anyway. It'll cut down my travel from 20 to 10 minutes, so I went for it. I reached the place. By this time, the buzz was gone. My courage was failing. The way was dark, even darkened by the shadows of the trees and the walls. And it added the eerie feeling. So I started singing to calm myself down. Halfway on the street, I started noticing that someone was following me. I looked back, and there was a nun walking the same direction I was heading. For a moment, I felt relieved. I told myself at least that there was somebody there. Shortly after, I started noticing that the distance between the nun and myself never really changed. I looked back again and realized that her outfit was not typical. It looked like from a different era, an older version. Then I looked at her face and could not really see it clear. My heart started racing. I started walking faster and faster until I was running as fast as I can. I turned around. It was the same distance. Up ahead, I saw the lamp post on my street and I ran forest. I ran until I reached my street. I looked back for the last time and there was nobody there. The weird thing was, there was no left or right exit. It was a straight pathway. No convent for nuns either. I reached my house, went in, and shut the door behind me. I was asking myself why I took the deal from then. I never took that road again. <laughs>